<sighs> Finally awake, huh? You've been a major pain in our ass. What the... You guys... Who the hell are you guys? Rescue me? The police are after you. They think you're the one who killed King Moron and the other two. So, are you the killer? All the cases... all on me. <laughs> That's right. I did it! You piece of shit! And not just that bastard Moraoka! That stupid announcer! And the Konishi bitch, too! I killed all of them! It was all me! Where'd it go? What's going on? <laughs> it's gone. That frickin' monster disappeared. Take that, son of a bitch! <sighs> hey! He's exhausted. We need to hurry and get him out of here. Where am I? Why am I here? What the hell are you guys? S stop it! Why did the TV... <sighs> hey! You seem confused from everything that happened, but we have a bunch of questions for you. First off, why did you do all this? Answer in ten words or less! <laughs> what the hell? Is that a costume? <laughs> what a loser. Get out of my face, you freak. The freak? Gah! Hold it, Teddy. You're not helping. Get off my back. I already told you. I did it. Why? How could you do such a thing? Three people are dead because of you. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it, right? It's a huge deal. And I did it. All of it. All by myself. You just wanted the attention? Then why did you target me and the others? How did you kidnap us? <sighs> Whoa, look who it is. <laughs> hey, Yuki. After all this time, now you want to talk to me? <laughs> what bullshit. Answer me. If you held a grudge against me, that's fine. But why the others? <laughs> what a joke. You're so desperate it hurts. I didn't care who I attacked. Everyone pisses me off. You what? You gotta be kidding me. You killed Senpai over nothing? You son of a bitch! I hope you're ready to get what's coming to you. <laughs> what, you gonna kill me? Kanji-kun! Kill you? It ain't gonna be that easy, you piece of shit. What you did can never be taken back. No, you're gonna own up to your crimes and pay for what you did. You ain't gonna be allowed to kick the bucket until you understand exactly what it is you've done. <sighs> Why, damn it! Why does she have to die because of this bastard? <laughs> Dude, the cops. Huh? What are you waiting for? Call the damn police! Yeah, you're right. Yosuke.
least Adachi-san seemed happy. Well, I guess this means our work is done. He did it all to draw attention. I, I can't get my head around that. It's just wrong. I mean, not that it would have been okay if he'd had a better reason. I know. Don't worry. It's finally over. Let's leave the rest to the police. My world will be peaceful again now. Yeah, I'm happy for you. We really went through a lot. Like scoring with guys. Oh, come on! Will you ever let it go? What? Scoring with guys? Y you don't need to know the details. I'm sure you'd like us to forget the sauna incident, too. Right, Kanji-kun? Uh... W well... That's not fair. I wanted to see everyone else's, too. That's right. We three are the only ones who saw everyone's secret. Hey, so what was Yosuke's like? Come on, it's about time you told us. Come on, let's leave it at that. Speaking of which, nothing really happened in your case, huh? Really? Wait, really? Is there something special about Senpai after all? Sensei is the man! And now that the case is solved, we won't be calling you leader anymore, will we? Oh yeah, it's kind of sad. Why don't we have a celebration? We always have a wrap party after we're done shooting. It's fun and it'll help give us some closure. Ooh, a party! That sounds great! Let's go all out! Ooh, ooh! I want to go to Yuki-chan's house! Gorgeous dinner, hot springs, table tennis, yukata, geisha, Fujiyama, full witness! You're right. Yukiko-senpai's family runs a hot springs inn. Hot spring that Yukiko Senpai bathes into? Hey, keep it to yourself. You're sounding like a creep. Well, it sounds like fun, but I don't think it's possible today. Yeah, it's summer vacation. All the rooms must be occupied. We can't do a sleepover. Maybe next time. I promise. Hey, why don't we hit your place instead? Oh, but will your uncle get suspicious? Like, why are you all celebrating? Then it's settled. Nanako-chan can join in too. Oh yeah, if your uncle's a detective, he might not come home tonight. Nanako-chan might be getting hungry. Hey, then why don't we make dinner together? Wow, are you good at cooking, senpai? Well, sort of. What are you saying? Did you already forget the tragedy of the school camp out? We already told you that was an accident. She's right, we just got a couple of the ingredients wrong. Guys, please don't do this. I'm begging you, I don't need another trauma to deal with. Hey, I'm a good cook too. I'll make something for you, senpai. Ta-da! Teddy has a great idea. Let's have a cooking battle. The winner will be crowned Iron Cook Inaba. A cooking battle? Now I'm even more worried. Sure, that sounds like fun. Aw, but I'll win hands down. You sure you want to make it that easy? Dude, listen to me. For the sake of our stomachs, you have to cook something too. Help us, partner. You're our only hope. Then you can represent the guys' team. Nanako-chan will be our judge. I can be a taster too. Teddy can be a tester too. At the end, you're supposed to say, 
that was delicious, right? Woo! I'm getting all fired up. All right, let us advance forth into the grocery section downstairs. Charge! on what she wants for dinner. What do I want? Um, anything's fine. She's just being modest. Ask her again. Well, um, an omelet. I want to eat omelet with fried rice. Okay, I'll be waiting. Fried rice omelet. An excellent choice, Nanako-chan. With a dish that simple, I doubt we'll get a second helping of Mystery Food X. Huh? What's wrong? Not that thing. <laughs> Alright, let's go get our ingredients. Uh... If they're all making the same thing, why are they splitting up to different parts of the market? Looks like you'll need all the help I can give you. Hey, what kind of omelet are you making? I'll go get the ingredients for you. Foie gras? Quite an eye you got there, senpai. It's a must-have for my special omelet. Don't worry, I'll let you have a taste. Ooh, or maybe I could spoon-feed you. <laughs> I heard last time you choked down something so awful that words couldn't describe it. It was horrible. You poor dears. Who would do such a horrible thing? Urisei-san, this is going to be the only chance you get to gloat. Is that clear? I'll crush you with one strike. Whoa, you guys look like you're ready to enter the ultimate frying championship. Kanji-kun, that's alcohol. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, by the way, where's Teddy? Miss, am I allowed to eat this? Of course you can, dear. Eat as much as you like. You're such a nice lady. Is this one cooked already? <laughs> this one's ready, too. Oh, my. Are you hungry for more? Here, I'll open this one, too. You're so beautiful. Oh my! No! No, I mustn't. I've got a husband and a son. But I really want this meat, and I want you to cook it, miss. Oh, I couldn't possibly. The manager would get so upset. I'm gonna knock the stuffing out of that bear. Risa chan was right. This celebration does make me feel like it's over. The case really has come to an end. <sighs> wow! It's really Risa chan I should go back over there soon. Are you going somewhere? Yep. Guys kept their promise. A promise? Oh. What if you made a promise with me? Could you stay then? A promise with Nana-chan? Um, a promise the 
that you play with me. How about that? Sensei, you kept your promise with me. So I should go back over there. But a promise is a promise. It's not good to break them. Sensei! My promise with Nana-chan. I made a promise to play with her. Can I really stay here? It wasn't just my promise. Nana-chan made it with me. I'm really, really happy. Thank you. Yosuke, I have a new promise to keep. So I want to stay here a little longer. Is that okay with you, sir? Huh? What are you talking about? You're not going anywhere. You can't just quit your job like that. In any case, if you left... It's ready! Incoming food! Out of the way, senpai! Whoa! Ow! Bon appetit! Well, well wait a sec. Asking Nanako-chan to jump in and try these for us is kinda... unethical. Don't look at us like that! Oh... So it's our job to taste it first. To make sure we can keep it down. Hey, that's mean! Then try mine first, Yosuke-senpai! It's guaranteed delicious! You don't mind me going first? Actually, I've been looking forward to yours. I mean, Rizette cooked it herself. Can you imagine how many guys would kill me if they found out? Well then, chow time! I... I... can't give this to Nanako-chan. Ooh, it's so delicious that you won't let anyone else have a bite? Here, try mine next. I'll take this one. K Kanji, that's a lot. Hey, say something. Well, uh... How do I put this? It tastes really... Um... Boneless? What? That's not a word you use to describe taste. Does it taste good or not? Tell me. Not good, uh, that's for sure. It tastes like... like I'm eating plain oatmeal. It's pretty impressive that you put so many ingredients into a dish and it came out tasting like nothing. Your palate just isn't refined enough. I think it tastes good. <sighs> Nanako-chan. Okay, try mine next. Uh, I don't know about this, but I, I think it'll taste good. This time, for sure. I'll give it a whirl. How is it? Wow! This tastes awful! You have to try this, Yosuke! Dude, not after you say that. 
Aha! I see. Well, um... It's a huge improvement over the curry. Yeah, thanks for the consolation. I feel so much better. I think this tastes good, too. Nanako-chan! Oh, yeah, they're right. They're totally right. It tastes awful. Risei chans, I bet you anything mine tastes better than hers. Senpai? Sure enough. One strike. Well, Yukiko and Chie's didn't taste good either. But at least theirs didn't cause any casualties. <laughs> the most mature person in this room. Crocodile tears? Oh, yeah. Didn't you make one too, senpai? You did? Oh. <sighs> this is really good. You never had an omelet with fried rice this good. <sighs> it's amazing. Nanako-chan? We're still starving. If you're so hungry, then help yourself to an awful tasting omelet. Hm. Uh, I have a suggestion. You guys know about the festival they're holding in the shopping district, right? Why don't we all go? Oh, that sounds good. Whoa. Does that mean the girls will be wearing yukata? A festival? We'll bring Nanako-chan along, too. I can come? Really? Yay! <laughs> that settles it, then. Festival food always tastes great for some reason. Even if it ain't anything fancy. Whew. We'll finally be able to get some edible food for once. <laughs> 